Okay, so we're going to prove that the power set of A union the power set of B is a subset of the power set of A union B for any sets A and B. Okay, so uh, for this proof, um, I can use if and only if um, connectives between statements. But since this proof is only asking for this set being a subset of this set, I'm going to use implies instead of the if and only ifs. And throughout the proof, you'll see where I can't use an if and only if, and then that's why we can't have that the power set of A union power set of B is equal to the power set of A union B. That's why we're restricted to this set being a subset of this set. So let's go ahead and start the proof. So we're going to let the set X be an element of the power set of A union the power set of B. And what this means, since we have union, by definition of union, we're going to have X be an element of the power set of A or X be an element of the power set of B, right? And then by definition of power set, we know this means that X is a subset of A or X is a subset of B. Notice for at least from this statement to this statement and this statement to this statement, I could have used if and only ifs, but again, I'm only using implies because that's what the problem's asking for, right? So now my now I, I'm at a I'm here where I have X is a subset of A or X is a subset of B. So from these two, I want to get to X is an element of the power set of A union B but it's going to be broken down into two cases, right? So let's go ahead and go on to case one. The first case being X is a subset of A. Well, if X is a subset of A, this implies that X is a subset of A union B, right? If X is a subset of A, so let me go ahead and draw a picture here. I have my universal set. I have set A and set B, right? So let's say X is a subset of A, right? Well then, of course, if X is a subset of A, then X is a subset of A union B. But this is where it breaks down because I can't do an if and only if here, I can only do an implies because um, does X being a subset of A union B imply that X is a subset of A? Well, let's say if X were in here, right? X is a subset of A union B, but we can see that X is not a subset of A, right? So we can't write this because this statement here does not imply this statement here. So that's why we're restricted up here to this set being a subset of this because of this right here, okay? Well, anyway, we know this implies that X is an element of the power set of A union B, right? if X is a subset of A union B. So at least for the first case where X is a subset of A, we get X is an element of the power set of A union B. Now let's move on to the next case. Okay, so case two, X is a subset of B, right? Using the same reasoning as in case one, this implies that X is a subset of A union B. And then this implies that X is an element of the power set of A union B. So you can see in either case, we get X is an element of the power set of A union B, which is what we desired, right? So in either case, X is an element of the power set of A union B. So what we have is that for every set X, right? X is an element of the power set of A, union the power set of B, implies that X is an element of the power set of A union B. And if we have this statement here, this means that X, or I'm sorry, this means that the power set of A, union the power set of B, is in fact a subset of the power set of A union B. And that is what we set out to do. That is our proof.